If you have an older machine like this one, you won't be able to purchase a new carburetor. If the problem you're having is that when you leave it sit, gas comes out of the carburetor, you're going to need to replace the needle in the seat. That's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Rico here. I'm going to show you how to change the needle in seat on a Tecumseh motor. Uh, this is a HSS 70. Uh, this will follow the same procedure for a 70, 80, 100. They're pretty much all the same. Um, I picked the machine up on its side. This one has a gas valve. If you look over here on the side, if it doesn't have a gas valve to shut the gas off, you can take a pair of uh, clamps. Just clamp the hose. That shuts it off while you're working on the carburetor. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already loosened this up. On the bottom, you're going to take this bolt out. A little gas is going to leak out. Okay, the bowl is going to come out now. Later, we're going to clean that out with carburetor cleaner. This is the float. The needle in the seat is underneath this. To remove it, I'm going to start by just pulling this pin out. Okay, and the float might drop on me. I'm keep my hand there. Okay, keep that pin, there's no direction on it, doesn't matter which way it goes. Pull the float out. Pull the needle out. This is, this is what we're replacing. I'm also replacing the seat inside of here. You're not going to be able to see that. We're not even going to try. How I'm going to get that seat out, got a little pick here, but I'm just going to stick inside where that needle went fill the little hole. I'm going to grab it. Takes a couple of tries. And there's our seat. So that's what the seat looks like. My new needle and seat right here from Sten's. This is really universal. These work for almost all Tecumseh motors, but if you want to match up exactly which one you should have, um, you can use jacksmallengines.com. They have diagrams. For the HSS, I believe this goes 50, 60, 70, 80, and 100. It's going to be the 631021. Okay. This is my new needle. This is my new seat. Okay. We're going to start by putting the seat back in. I'm just setting the needle to the side. You can use any round device, anything that's, that'll fit. If it'll fit all the way in there, we can use this to push the seat back in. So I'm going to start with my finger. Okay, get the seat in there, and I'm going to push it all the way in with this tool. Pull it out, push it. Uh, you can try to zoom the camera in there. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. You just want to make sure it's flat inside there. So here's my float. Here's my needle. And this slides onto the bottom. This, you don't have to worry about getting it perfect because when I put this bowl back in there, it's going to align itself. Okay. We're just going to push this needle into that hole. Sound like Mr. Mackey. From South Park. Okay, we're just gonna put that needle right back in there. Okay, take the pin. Push it back in. This isn't a press fitting; it doesn't screw in. The bowl is what holds that pin in place. As long as it's going through there, we're good. There's a, ga a bowl gasket that goes around the outside that fell off earlier. I'm going to put that on.
no direction on this gasket. Doesn't matter which way you put it on. Just make sure it's on there. Okay. Put the bowl back on. Back up, and that's it. That's how you replace the needle in the seat. Um, I'll make a separate video for how to adjust the carburetor, but it's a really simple procedure, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.